Hello, this is Tron with Tron Tells the Truth from my home studio today. Let's talk about woke again, because the word woke means nothing. I talked about this before, but I think woke, using the word woke, is part of a strategy to cancel culture. Yes, you want to cancel people who don't say what you like, or what you want. Talk about racism, woke. Take it in the woke. Talk about war, woke. Talk about gender, transgender rights, woke. Talk about gay rights, woke. Woke, 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 woke. There have been problems in the past with some universities and so on. People who are so fragile that they can't listen to a harder joke or uh, they cannot accept the humorists going too far. But the way the writer is using it now is just to silence people. Because what, that's what they love to do. They love to silence people. When people try to ask them critical questions, they're whining about being silenced. You see the fucking irony here? Yes. Today's use of the word woke is cancel culture. We're going in to a time more and more conflict. But we cannot discuss the real things. Because what we're going to discuss is only weapons, patriotism, abortion, and how horrible everyone else is. Yes. Criticize the capitalism, even if it's just a mild form of criticism, is woke or communism. The right is the far worst alternative when it comes to cancel people. There are people on the left too, but they're not the majority. The people on the right have never, never suffered to being canceled, really. They have their own TV network, they have the channels, they have all the fucking money and the wealth in the world. So, what they talk about when they come to council cancel is only that they're being asked questions. If a news channel takes up something they don't like, they don't try to debate it. They just scream at somebody trying to cancel them, it's mainstream media or it's communism. While Fox News are presenting shit 24-7, and if you talk against that, yes, then you also, people, try to cancel things. Conservatism is today the new fucking fascism. And it's been growing and growing and growing. Since Newt Gingrich's new contract for America in the early 90s, conservatism has been from we have control with the lunars to list open the fucking asylum. Because today's conservatism is just fucking ignorance and hate and fucking fascism. You see more and more troublemakers over the world climbing to the conservative ideology screaming about historical bullshit uh, the so-called passive is there raging rage against immigrants talking about Christianity like they fucking know anything about the Bible whatsoever but if you take them on that yeah, you just, that is blasphemy conservatism is a fucking start of being an enemy and there are real conservatives out there who fucking have something to say but the adult and not be put in the basement. The adult find out now that this they just just gonna shut up. There are some who try to fight against it, but they are very few. The moderate conservatives wanted to win, so they opened the fucking asylum asylum. So here is fucking where we are. This is the new fucking normal and we have to fucking live with it. This is 19, 19 years between 1918 and 1940, all fucking over again. Einstein said he'd felt World War III was going to be fought by sticks. I don't think so. It's going to be fought with weapons, horrible weapons, and a lot of people are going to fucking die. Thanks for conservatives, assholes who are more interested in taking fucking rich elites' money and pissing on the people than actually do something for society at all. This was Tron with Tron Tells the Truth.